Hi, today we're going to look at three quote tool tricks. I think you're going to like these. The first one we're going to look at is focusing on the key idea. So let's take a look at this post. Even though we tell students only one topic per post, sometimes they add a, a lot of extra information. I just want to respond to the second paragraph that starts with, I am amazed. And to do that, I'm going to first come up here to the quote button, and I'm going to select quote. And then that's going to open up a page that has all the entire uh, post that was made. Since I don't want that first paragraph, I'm going to eliminate it. And I'm going to go just cross it out. And remember, Anything between the two brackets, the bracketed statements, will be in a box. And since I just want that second paragraph, that's all I need then between the brackets. And I'm just going to put down, I agree, it is amazing. And again, I could put whatever I want there. Then all I have to do is come in, post it. And what you'll see is the box with just that part that I want to respond to. And that way I can really target in on the specific part of a post that I want to give my answer to. This particular post has four parts and I want to respond to two of them. But I don't want to lump them together with one big answer. I want to answer each one individually. And I can do that by first coming up here and selecting the quote button. And then you come up and you have the traditional box. And if I just left it like this, all of these would be inside a box. But I want two boxes, one for each of these questions. So all I have to do is copy these brackets and place them around the words that I want the box. So right now I'm going to do here and paste it there because I want that first part. And then I also want to talk about late work. And to do that, I'll have to copy this quote here and put it, I'm going to give, just give a little space there and put it here in front of that. Now, I don't need the extra credit, so I'm going to eliminate that. And you notice I have the brackets before and after it. And then I don't need the drop policy, so I'm going to eliminate that. And I don't want this second paragraph either. And so I'm going to eliminate that. Now you'll notice I have the two parts, each with the, the quote brackets beginning in the middle. And so each of those will be a box. So now all I have to do is write my response outside those brackets. So I'm going to put, this is a good way to be in control of your time. And I go, I'm going to, I do the same thing. And so now I've got responses to it. Let's post it. See how it looks. And you'll notice there it is, the two boxes with my comments underneath. The key, remember, anything within the brackets will have a box. You want to make your comments outside the box. Sometimes you may have two different posts that have the same kind of answer that you want to give one response to. So for example, here it talks about creating a welcoming atmosphere, and it has, I like to ask their names, and then down here is another person that likes to use their names. I want to answer both of those in one uh, post. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to first come up here to the quote button. I'll select that, and we'll get the traditional brackets with the, the comments in the middle. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to copy this whole thing. So I have that. Then I'm going to go back. I'm going to go back to the to the actual discussion. This will just take a second to climb into here. And I'm going to go back down and look for the other one that I liked. And that was this one here, where he also talks about their names. Again, I'm going to select the quote button. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to paste the other comments there. So now you see I have quotes from both of them. And I'm going to eliminate this bottom part here because it's a little different. And then I'm going to say, you guys are on the same wavelength. And, let's, and then now if I click this, I should have two boxes with one response. And there it is. So I have the two people and then I have one comment responding to both of them. So this is another thing that you can use the quote button for. <laughs>